Trick of the Tail, which is the next song, the title track, um, with the uh, the little hooved, uh, horned, tailed guy dealing with the straight English gentlemen who are tripping out that this creature, this animal, can talk and is intelligent. Um, cool song too, man. Banks actually wrote, wrote this in 72 or started writing it and, and kind of meant to be on uh, I think it's Nursery Crimes so, or Fox okay. Okay. Selling uh, okay. it, it has a sort of a, a Beatles feel Yeah No So this is the tale the horned and the tail guys visiting the human world. Like looking at these humans, they don't got no horns or tails, they don't even know that we exist. I'm looking for the city of gold. Where's the city of gold that I've heard about? Yeah, it was meant to be on Foxtrot, I just want to Ah. Yeah, partly influenced, so the, partly influenced by getting better the by the Beatles. Exactly. So, but soon they grew bored of their prey. The beast that can talk. More like a freak or publicity stunt. Oh, Wait, what is this creature? He can talk? What the heck? This is the creature talking about humans. Right. I love that it's written from his perspective. He likes Squonk. You know, Squonk is written, well, it can be partially from the creatures like the perspective. You know, you mentioned the Beatles. This is kind of like an XTC song in a way, too. Yeah, right here. Same connection, yeah. There's my city over there. Let me take you there. Show you living stone. Like, come on, guys. I'll show you the city of gold. Let me show you others such as me. Why not? Why did I ever leave? I got thrown in jail by these people, you know? These idiots. They got no horns. They got no tail. They don't even know of our existence. Am I wrong? I believe in the city of gold. The lies in the distance. He cried and wept. Uh, humans are such animals, man. The Taurus. Oh, yeah. So we set out that will be this hall. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, right. So we set out. To many days' journey, we came to a peak. When the beast is in abroad and cried out We followed his gaze and we thought That maybe we saw a spider of gold No trick of the eye No a trick of the eye But the beast was gone and the voice was heard They got no horns and they got no tails They don't know about distance that sound there's actually two tracks of it <laughs> beautiful I love this set these sounds out here I think that high part is guitar maybe it's gotta be Steve Hackett doing his <laughs> beautiful I love this sound right here I'll never know what that is. <laughs> That's part of the charm, you know, but it's it's part of the again the the golden age of recording. 
Right. You know, in these years, you could do things like that and and not be able to tell. Is it guitar? Is it keyboard? You know, is it somebody freaking whistling? Is Are they tapping on their freaking you know, chest or drawers? Who knows? I mean, <laughs> people were, they were experimenting. They were trying things. They had time. They had, you know, I think they, you know, what, they, they probably took several months to record this album. Yeah. You know. Um, no, actually two. You know. October, November. Just two months. Just two months. Just two. Oh well, my God. well, Tony brought in a lot of the songs, and uh, okay, and Rutherford, Mike, you know, Mike brought in a lot of parts and stuff like that. That's the way. That's the way they kind of put it. Is like they really, you know, I think on the whole tour with with uh, um, Lamb Lies Down, there was so much. There was a lot of friction going on. I mean, Peter was disappearing. Well, he and things well, like he, that. He, and yeah, I think, he announced think, halfway through that tour that he was leaving. Right, right. Yeah, right. So I yes. think I think Tony and Mike just started, just kept writing. Just said, screw it. We're going to keep doing what we do, you know, and, and with Phil yeah. there and everything, they jammed. They just kept jamming and and said, this, you know, we're not going to stop. This is what we do. And then they figured it out, you know, and Steve <laughs> oh, got back with them. Ever. And just, yeah, so, you know. Yeah. Just, did they ever figure it out, fact, man? In this fact, is it was a- funny. Peter came back and said in the heard some of their tapes before they put the album out and said that they they don't need me. You guys, like, he said, yeah, he, yeah, said you guys are, he said, you guys I are had good. more confidence in the band's ability to transcend my departure than they than did. They did. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Yes. Yes. Yes.